For 20 years, a legal battle over oil pollution in the rainforests of Ecuador has raged. On February 14, 2011, Judge Nicolas Zambrano ruled that oil giant Chevron was responsible for the vast contamination of the Amazon region in Ecuador. Seeing the damage Chevron has done to the environment and the world, we have decided to interview the CEO of Chevron, John Watson. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Tasman and I'll be doing an interview with John Watson, the CEO of Chevron, regarding sustainability. As an operator in the oil and gas industry, how would you say your future profit sustainability is? Uh, with oil supplies running out, I'd say profitability will inevitably decrease. However, with our recent investments into new projects and uh, new techniques come to the forefront like fracking and shale oil extraction, uh, we feel we could stay profitable for at least the next 10 years. However, um, Chevron has been looking into renewables as a way to supplement future income, including geothermal and biofuels. Considering reducing fossil fuel use is against Chevron's interests, how has the company approached this conflict of interests? Uh, we view it's the job of the policymaker to make rules which are environmentally sustainable. It's just our responsibility to act within them. What do you think about Chevron's past lobbying efforts? Chevron exercises its right to take part in the political process. What is Chevron's stance on renewable energy? Um, we feel it's a long-term solution, but our competitive advantage is currently in oil and gas, so we intend to stay in that industry. Um, renewables is definitely something that Chevron is looking into um, as part of a sustainable future. How difficult would it be to manage sustainability in terms of the triple bottom line for the next 10 years? I feel it would be a challenge, but uh, we value all three aspects of the triple bot bottom line and uh, intend to uphold them to their fullest. Of the three aspects of sustainability in terms of the triple bottom line, what would you say is Chevron's main focus? I would say profitability is. Um, we can't afford not to have it as that way. But uh, we do value the other aspects as well. As CEO of Chevron, would you say that the company has, has had a positive influence globally? Uh, I would say Chevron has had some issues in the past, uh, in Angola for example, and the US and other parts of the world. But at all times, it's taken responsibility for its actions and mistakes. Um, I believe in Ecuador, Chevron is not responsible, but Texaco for the contamination of the rainforest areas in that region. Um, and we've done our best to rectify this wrongful accusation. Have there been cases where Chevron has been responsible? Yes, in Angola, we were responsible for an oil spill which resulted in environmental damage. Uh, we acted responsibly and paid the two million fine for this. Do you think it is irresponsible that the issue was allowed to arise in the first place? Uh, yes, indeed I do, but the oil industry by nature is quite risky for both the personnel and the environment, and that's why we have the Chevron Way, which is our safety program to put staff um, at the forefront in terms of safety. Um, we're in the unfortunate situation of being in a quite a dirty business, I'd, I'd say. 